<clears throat> Hello everyone, I thought I would come on and do a super quick video or I'm going to try to make it super quick. Um, I have a lot going on, my father's estate still being settled, my son injured himself, just a whole lot of BS to deal with. And so I put up a poll in the Facebook group and I saw somebody kind of took over control of it. Um, the question was, what do you prefer, weights, cardio, or neither? Um, I didn't put in a choice D, which is both. And there seems to be some confusion about cardio and strength training. So I thought I would come in and do a fast training. Again, my version of fast usually isn't fast, but I have my computer in front of me just to refresh. I mean, it's ingrained in my memory, but whatever. Okay. Steady state cardio is cardio that you do at the same pace, meaning you walk at the same pace, you run at the same pace, you do whatever at the same pace. That's steady state cardio. There's another type of cardio, there's Tabata, there's HIIT training, there's interval training, there's, all different, there's other ways to train. There's also strength training. Strength training doesn't have to be done with, with dumbbells, kettlebells, whatever, barbells. It could be done with body weight. It could be done with resistance bands. It can be done with machines in the gym, kettlebells, barbells, all of that. That's all falls under strength training because you're building strength. So if you're using your own body weight, like when you do a push-up, for example, you're using the weight of your body is working your muscles, okay? So strength training is so important because when you lose weight, you're not just losing fat, you're also losing muscle. And I've stated this many times before, muscle burns calories, burns six calories per pound of body weight where fat only burns two. So right there, you can see it makes more sense to have more muscle in your body than it would for fat. After the age of 50, actually after the age of 30, which with, you lose more and more muscle as you age. It's called scarpania, if I'm saying it right. Uh, it just means that as you age, you lose muscle mass, and that's just a fact of life. Once you hit 50, you lose 15% of your muscle mass. So if you're not strength training to combat that loss, then it's only gonna be accelerated. So there's that. So now, if you're not strength training and you're just doing cardio, you're losing more and more fat and muscle at the same time because there's fat mass and there's fat-free mass. Fat mass obviously is fat, and fat-free mass is muscle, bone, blood, ligaments, tendons, all of that other stuff, water, okay? So the reason why you want to strength train is to not to bulk up and, you know, look like a man or whatever everyone thinks of, is to preserve the muscle that you have. Because the more muscle you have, the more calories you'll be able to burn while your body is at rest. You raise your resting heart rate, which is what you want to do. If you are still doing steady state cardio and you've been doing the same cardio for years where you get on the elliptical and you hit go and you do your little, you know, 45 minute workout every single day and now you're finding, gee, it's not working anymore. I'm not losing any weight. So you slash your calories and you keep slashing your calories. That is the absolute wrong thing to do. What you want to do is change your workouts. You don't want to do more cardio and you don't want to eat less. You want to do the right amount of cardio and fuel your body the right way. And what is the, so what's the most effective way to do cardio is HIIT training, which stands for high intensity interval training, which means that let's say I'm going to use the treadmill. I always use the treadmill. You get on the treadmill, you press go, you start your walk, then you start your jog. Let's say you're, you're you basically jog a half hour day on the treadmill. That's your cardio. So, Let's say I'm jogging nice and steady at a four on my treadmill. So now what I want to do is after about five minutes that I'm warmed up, I want to jack that four, the, the number four that I'm running on, I want to make it into like, let's say a five or a six, or I can really, I'm going to say whole ass all out for like 15 seconds, 30 seconds. I want to be while I'm like, <sighs> or I'm breathing heavy. And then I'm going to bring it back down and I'm going to go back to my, my nice light jog. And then when I can breathe and everything's fine again, and I feel like that, then I'm gonna hit it again and I'm gonna up, up the intensity. I'm gonna run as fast as I can. And that is what HIIT training is. So you're not just going in a straight linear line like this, do your half hour on the treadmill, get off, workout's over. No, 
what's happening now is your heart rate is going like this and then it goes up and then it comes down and then it goes up and then it comes down and what does that do what that does is your body produces more lactic acid it's, it's harder on the body um, to do so that when the workout is over now your body has to recover from that workout and that's where the epoch comes in which stands for and i always say it wrong <sighs> Hold on. Oh, uh, excess post exercise oxygen consumption, also known as the afterburn effect. So when when the intensity of your workout goes up, that means the duration of your workout goes down. So instead of going on the treadmill and doing your you know your light little workout, let's say you do forty five minutes. If you can cut that in half, and you can do it for let's say twenty five minutes, if you did intensity interval training. Okay, because your body's working harder. And so when it's over, your body has to get rid of all the waste to get back to normal. So you're burning calories while you're recovering, okay? Which is why you burn calories all through the day. So your your rest your heart rate, you know, stays elevated and it raises your resting heart rate basically. So that's the difference. Now let's go into strength training. Strength training is the same thing. Strength training also produces the uh, epoch. And again, if you're not building your muscle, you're losing it, not just with diet, but with age. Okay, every year that you get older, no matter what age you are after 30, you start losing muscle if you're not preserving what you already have or building new muscle. So that's why you need to strength train. What I train my clients and what I advocate for is to combine both. Kill two birds, excuse the saying, with one stone. Well, what does that mean? It means if you're at home, it's ideal. It's perfect if you're at home. It's a little more difficult if you're at the gym. Most people will do cardio and then later they'll do strength training or they'll do strength training and then they'll go and they'll do their cardio. That takes up a lot of time and it takes up, you know, a big chunk of I don't know who has that kind of time. So if you're short on time, the best thing you could do, if, let's say that you're home and you're strength training, right? And so you're going to do a set of bicep curls. You're going to put throw down the bicep, the, the dumbbells, and then you're going to do some jumping jacks all out as fast as you can. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be any, you know, burpees or anything like that. Jumping jacks, marching in place, squat jacks, whatever. You can even get on your treadmill. This is what I used to do. Throw the weights down, get on the treadmill, press five, Go all out, 30 seconds, get off, come down, take a few deep breaths, pick up the dumbbells, do my next set, get my reps in, throw the weights down, and then go back and do some cardio. And that is what is going to get you the most bang for your buck when it comes to weight loss. Okay? So you're combining both of them. Now, what if you're in the gym? If you're in the gym, it's a little bit more difficult because the machines and the weights are over here and the cardio section is over there. But you can do the same thing. And I know... It's embarrassing. I know everyone's going to tell me, I don't want to do that in front of everyone. It's embarrassing. I get it. I know. It's up to you. You know, so if you find a nice little corner in the gym where you could take your dumbbells and you've seen people in the gym do it before, uh, you do your set of whatever you're doing and then you do the exact same thing. You just do jumping jacks. You do squat jumps. You do, I don't know, I can't think of anything offhand, you know, kick and claps or whatever you're going to do. A little bit 30 seconds time it on your phone you can do up and down planks you can just hold the plank something some type of cardio in between the sets so that now you're instead of resting after the set and just waiting do 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 do, do looking around the gym looking at this guy looking at that girl looking at this one okay let me hit my next set no instead you're going to zone everyone out and you're just going to think this is my time this is what i'm doing here i'm going to work out you're going to do your bites I'm going to use biceps. Do your set of bicep curls. Put down the weight. You know, have like blinders on. Who cares who's looking at you? Do your thing. Do your jumping jacks or whatever. While you're recovering from that, pick up the dumbbells and go for your next set of bicep curls. Or you can keep your, find a treadmill at the end where you're not really next to that many people or an elliptical or whatever you're using going to be hard if the gym is crowded take your set of dumbbells next to you there or this is where body weight training is perfect stay on that treadmill do your you know your high intensity get off and then next to the treadmill 
just do body weighted squats, 20 body weighted squats, get back on the treadmill, go all out, you know, until you can't, you know, anymore, 45 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever you can do, get off the treadmill, go back, do another set of squats, do some push-ups, do tricep dips off the treadmill, do lunges, do um, planks, you know, put a mat down there uh, next to it or bring a towel with you and do some crunches in between. But the point is between each exercise, you're getting your cardio in. So it's a little bit of cardio, very high intensity, and then um, a, uh, some strength training or body weight training, whatever. Then the next, then you, then you just keep repeating that. So you don't have to be there for an hour. You could say today I'm going to do, you know, today is, I don't know, butts and guts, let's just call it, meaning abs and, and butt. So you, that's perfect. Get near the treadmill, elliptical, arc training, whatever you like to do. Throw your mat, towel down, whatever you have there. And then you're going to have an idea in your head what you're going to do. Okay, I'm going to get on, you know, warm up. I'm going to get off. I'm going to do 20 squats. I'm going to get back on. I'm going to, you know, run. I'm going to get off. Now I'm going to do, you know, 20 sit-ups. I'm going to get back on. I'm going to run. Then I'm going to get off. I'm going to go back and do 20 more squats. And you're going to repeat all of that like three times. Throw in different, you know, ab workouts, uh, moves. Throw in different, you know, squats, lunges, sumo squats, all that type of stuff. But that's what you, that's how you can do it in the gym. Is it ideal? No. Is it embarrassing? It depends on the person. If you find that people are looking at you or whatever, you can always wear a baseball hat, pull it down like this, cover the brim with your end so you don't see anyone, put your headphones in and zone everyone out. It's, it's your time at the gym. It's not anyone else's time at the gym. It's, you know, how much do you want it and, and what matters to you the most? So, is cardio effective for weight loss? The answer is yes, but what is more effective for weight loss is when you do HIIT training, meaning you add intervals in to your routine, or you combine strength training and cardio together, or you do you add strength training in. So if you're not doing any strength training now, you might want to start strength training. Again, it does not have to be dumbbells. It could be body weight. That's fine. Start with body weight and work up from there. You don't want to go into the gym. I see it all the time when I do make it to the gym. And I see people, oh, I'm gonna start off with this dumbbell here, it's 15 pounds, and ugh, my form sucks. They're rocking, they're swinging, they're grunting, they're, they're not even doing the moves correctly. And it's a total waste of time. I just sit in the gym and I, I'm like this. I'm like, dude, because I can't watch it because I'm like, what are you doing? You know. So if you have questions, if you don't know how to do an exercise, if you don't know how to do cardio, if you don't know where to start, if you need help, you need a plan, you need something, that's what the group is for. Just drop it in and I will answer your questions. And already I can see this video so long, so I'm gonna end it. But that's the purpose of the group. That's what I'm here for. If you wanna know what routine would work best for you, hop on a call. Um, send me a DM. It doesn't have to be that it means I'm going to charge you and put you into a program or whatever. I'm going to give you advice, free advice. That's what the group is for. So thank you for watching. Again, sorry for the hand movements. If you have any questions, drop in the group, send me a DM, set up a call. It's on my website. And um, there's, I just put a fat burning workout guide up into the file section of the group. So um, I don't know how it looks on the phone, but on the laptop, if you go to the top of the group, you'll see a bunch of words and then you'll see a section that says more. Click on where it says more. You'll see a drop down menu. There's like four things and you'll see the word files. Click on the files and then it'll open up and you can see everything that I've uploaded over the past year. All the recipe guides, you know, fat burning workouts, all, all the free guides that I've uploaded I'm gonna are there. And then the one at the tippy top is the fat burning guide. It explains everything that I just said. So if you don't want to listen to this 15 times, and I don't blame you, just read the guide. It explains it all in the guide. So any questions, that's what I'm here for. Let me know. And I hope everyone has a great day.